evening, I'm Ellie Spa reporting live from Harwood Arena, where Kane alums are celebrating the 2008 homecoming. Tonight, hundreds of alums are gathering to celebrate and promote the success of Kane. Also tonight, I will be interviewing prominent members of the Alumni Association to gain insight on their involvement and support for the university. I'm here with Ed Esposito, the president of the Kane Alumni Association. Ed, it's a pleasure to speak with you. Can you tell us a little bit about the Kane University Alumni Association? Well, the Alumni Association is made up of, of over 60,000 active alumni. And we have alumni in all 50 states and in dozens of countries around the world. So we're really a major force, and it's great to be with them. I love to travel and meet our alums from around the country. And they always talk about their experiences here at Kane and how they are prepared to do whatever they are in their field. I'm here with Gary Luciano, chairman of the Homecoming Committee of the Alumni Association. Um, Mr. Luciano, I want you to tell me a little bit about tonight's event. Well, tonight is the Greek reunion. We were looking to bring back uh, our students from many years ago, from the 70s, to the 80s, even the 60s. And uh, we've got quite a few of them here tonight. And we're hoping that uh, uh, this turnout that we have, which we're very happy about, is going to really develop into a, an even bigger one next year. So we're always looking for from year to year. I am here with Wendy Lee, Director of Alumni Association. Wendy, it's a pleasure to speak with you. I want to find out a little bit about the Alumni Association. Okay, uh, the Alumni Association is made up of about 24 volunteers and it has an executive board uh, with five officers on it and uh, we've got alumni uh, from as early as uh, late 1960s to as early as the recent 2007 and uh, our alumni are volunteers the boards are the board members are volunteers and they spend a lot of time here on campus trying to reconnect and create programs to reconnect with our alums and so one of the things that I do in my office we try to work together with the Alumni Association board to create events and services and um, to invite them to invite our alumni to come back to happenings on campus like shows and symposiums and um, lectures and then also to be uh, be mentors to our future leaders here. Uh, often they are also asked to be uh, alumni ambassadors for admissions and so we try to re-engage some of our alumni to come back to college fairs and to go and talk about you know how it is in terms of graduating from here because a lot of parents also want to know what was it like as a student here so I think a lot of the alumni have done very well by telling their story and that's what we wanted to do because they can individually inspire others to come to Kane University. As you can see, the members of the Alumni Association are passionate about this yearly event. They go to great lengths to keep the alumni connected to the university. Caden University, first of all, has come a long way since it began in Newark in 1855 as Newark Normal School. We have grown to be one of the preeminent universities in the state of New Jersey and have come a long way from the days of Newark Normal School to New Jersey State Teachers College at Newark to Newark State Teachers College and now 50 years later to have come from Newark to uh, Union Township here, it's 120 acres, to then Kane College of New Jersey, and finally on September 26, 1997, to Kane University. Kane has a history that will match any university or college, not only here in New Jersey, but anywhere in the nation, and is something that all alums, all current students, all administrators, all faculty should be very proud of. Let's go inside to Margot Shuffle. I'm standing by with the, with the members of the Greek sorority, Sigma Beta Chi. Good evening, ladies. Um, how have you guys been supporting Kane over the years? We come back for our sorority functions. We give to the Alumni Association, and we've been here for different activities that Kane has had for children that we've come back with our kids. Okay. I came back as a student, so I really feel like I'm supporting Kane. That's very, very cool. <laughs> Lots of tuition. That's how I support it. <laughs> That's going to be my next question. Hold on to that thought. I just came back to the East Coast. I've been like in the Midwest and in the South, so I will be supporting Kane from henceforth. But I, you just came back. I just came back. I dropped off the radar. And you just called your sisters and said, "Ladies, yes. we're coming back together." Yes, yes. It was all me. <laughs> 
I am here with Doug Nelson, Vice President of Institutional Advancement and President of Kane University Foundation. Doug, what are you steps do you think need to be taken to take Kane University on a national level, to make it a university that really stands out and that's making a difference on a national level? Well, it's a combination of the new programs, of the, the quality of the education. I mean, we now have students from every county in New Jersey, from 48 states in the United States, and from 80 foreign countries. This is not a little regional university anymore. This is a world-class university. And for us to be able to promote that and for people to know that, that we have people from France that want to come here and from China that are here now. The way it is right now, Bubble Size now at University, now when I put on my license plate or I put on my bag, it's Kane University, people I recognize. When it was Kane College, it was like a different story, but now it's Kane University and I feel very, very proud. So many things have changed, but it's interesting to note that so many things are in fact the same because you still have the student life, which is very, which brings a lot of energy to any or uh, any uh, entity. So, in some respects, it's changed a lot, but in certain respects, it's pretty much the same old King University or the King College that I was born. When I got here in 1960, it was called Newark State College. And there were only about five buildings on the whole campus. So everybody sort of knew each other, and it was kind of a really small university, yeah. I mean, small college. And it, it was fun. Oh, by the way, when I was here the other day, we had to go into the bookstore. And back in our day, they had one shirt and one hat and one sticker. So it was like, oh my god, I got shirts and hats. I think I left here with about three bags worth of stuff. This event was one of the most memorable celebrations of the year. Kane alums got to catch up with old friends, share memories, and most importantly, celebrate the growth of Kane. For KUTV, I am El Usfar.